Okay, so, um, three and a half weeks on tea. Three. God, I'm not supposed to do threes like that. Anyway, um, I'm visiting my family right now. So if I'm kind of quiet, it's because I'm, like, sequestered myself out of the porch. And hopefully nobody else is awake yet. Um, okay. My voice hasn't really d cracked or dropped, I guess, not at all, but I find it a lot easier to talk in lower pitches, um, like, perpetually for my entire life, all the way as far back into my memory as I can get. I've always had this feeling like there's been this, like, mucusy stuff at the back of my throat, healthy, sick, didn't matter. Whenever I talked in lower pitch, I felt like there was mucus in the back of my throat, and that... I wanted to make sure it wasn't just, like, a side effect of something else that was going on in my life, but, uh, after the, since the second day after I started tea, um, that feeling has been gone, which is cool because I really prefer to talk at a lower pitch, obviously. My voice is still coming from up here. It's not coming from down here. I don't even know how to drag my voice up from down here unless I'm, like, trying to sing opera. <laughs> but... Maybe that'll come. Whatever. Um, still hasn't cracked or dropped, really, though. Oh. Muscle growth. Uh, I got on a scale here, like, yesterday, out of sheer curiosity, and I think I put on 14 pounds since I started tea. Which is kind of like, oh, God, kill me now, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm chilling out, taking it easy. Taking it easy, man. Because my pant size hasn't gone up. I've got a little bit more of a pudge right on my stomach. But I wish I had my tape measure because this is the first time I've worn short sleeves in probably well over a year. And I'm like, holy crap, when did I get an arm? Because I used to have a little, like, noodly arms, you know? But there's actually, like... There's actually, like, this, this muscle right here. Like, I don't know, people call it a bicep. I'm used to just seeing my bone right here. You know, there's not, there's more muscle here than there used to be. I kept doing this during dinner yesterday. I'm like, what the hell happened to my arms, dude? Anyway, um, muscle growth. And I, I don't work out, so that's, that's definitely just from having extra testosterone in my body. I'm not going to complain. Um, easier to talk in lower pitches. Muscle growth. Uh, I no facial hair. I, I shave on a regular basis, so even if I was growing facial hair, I would not. I, I don't think I would notice. But um, I should. Okay, let me <laughs> let me fix that. I have shaved on a regular basis since I put out my last video, and when, last time I shaved, it was still just peach fuzz. It was much thicker and more aggressive peach fuzz, but still just like me, peachy fizzy things. So no facial hair. Um. If not increased a notice in body hair anywhere. No thighs, no arms, no chest, nothing. Just same as ever. Um, and if there has been any jungle growth, it hasn't been enough to notice. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, anything down there? No, not really. Just still kind of slightly swollen looking. So, um, otherwise, that, like, good feeling, like, easy to get up in the morning and get going and motivated to do shit... It hasn't worn off, so I, I don't think that's like a, like, hey, look at me, I'm on tea, I'm in a good mood, let's go fuck up the world or something. I don't I don't think that's just a placebo, because I still feel good, <laughs> and I still want to get out of bed in the morning, and I still want to go out and do shit. Like, I was sitting on the couch, and I was just like, I want to go do something. I can't just sit here, I want to go do something. So, kind of cool. Uh, like, really cool. Like, I'll take this shit for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, anyway. I think that covers it. Oh, <laughs> I'm in Florida right now, visiting family. Which, is, like, I think I mentioned. I've tried recording this video, like, four times now, so I don't remember what the hell I said. Um, I've been getting soared left and right down here. Compared to New York, like, it, 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 a lot of people in New like, the shops I go into in New York, people recognize me for the most part, but I have been getting stirred left and right all over the fucking place down here, even when people talk to me. They're just like, yes, sir, here, have a nice day, sir. Excuse me, sir, you work here, you know, that... 
Like, what? <laughs> um, and I, I just have to chalk it up to the conclusion that down here, sorry if you live in Florida and I'm misrepresenting you here, but my observation of this portion of the state of Florida is that the women hall dress like sluts. They can be 85 pounds or 285 pounds and they're still wearing short shorts with their asses and their thighs hanging out and they're still wearing shirts that are cut so long I'm surprised their nipples aren't popping out and it's not in like a sexy provocative good looking way it's in like a holy shit where's the rest of your clothes kind of way and um I don't dress like that so people are a lot more likely to peg me as a guy <laughs> when I'm wearing like a like a white undershirt and a button down thing over the top and my hair is Kinda, well, it's a mess right now because I just slept on it. My hair is kind of like combed back neat, and I'm just like ch chilling. I'm walking somewhere, and they're just like, "Excuse me, sir," because I just don't look like a skank. So, if I don't look like a skank, I guess I must be a guy. <laughs> I wish it had been that easy, but I live down here. But I think that covers it. Um, I haven't caught up on any of my videos, so any of you guys who are like waiting for responses or whatever, just Hang on a little while. It's gonna be Friday before I get home. We'll probably be doing this all weekend. 